Hello and welcome to an original. We tried this production. Today I'll be offering my GML lesson number three, I believe it is, to teach you about global variables and drawing variables in Game Maker language or GML. So, I'll be creating a script. I'm currently creating a way to get much more organized with the stuff before it gets too out of hand, so you'll probably see it in the next tutorial. But this one was called global variables. We were creating, in this one, we'll be creating two separate scripts, one for global variables and one for the draw. So, what is a global variable? Glo I may have not mentioned this about variables, but global variables, regular var global variables can be used by any object or script. So global variables can be used by any object or script. Regular variables, I'm going to say it like this. We have a uh, my string from our last tutorial. My string lives in this script. Basically, that's what it means. My string, because my string is just a regular variable. It's not a global variable. It lives in, the, in this script. Or in this case, it, my string also lives in this object here, in this object variable. My string lives in this script and this ob and the variable's object because it's just a regular variable. Global variables can be used by any object or any. Global variables can be used by any object or any script. They can live anywhere they want. They can live in any script, any object at any time. They can be used by any object at any time. So to create a global variable, type in global dot and then the name of the variable. In this case, let's call it name. So this will be a name object, a global dot name. So it can be used by any object at any time or any script at any time. Regular variables like my string can only be used by this script. So it lives in this script. So it's only local to this script. Global variables are can go in any script or any variable at any time. So let's create a name object or a name. So it goes global.name equals get underscore string. Let's type in what is your name. Say we have what is your name, comma, quotation marks. You should have understand this by now if you watched my previous tutorials, so I don't have to explain it. So yeah, what is your name? Type your name here. I have a tutorial on this by the way also, player name, so yeah. So we have global.name equals get underscore string, what is your name? Now I'm gonna do a show underscore message. Your name is space quotation marks plus global dot name. So this here we have it. It'll store the the string that we type in here. It'll store the name that we type in here in global dot name. Then it'll show the message your name is plus global dot name. So it'll say your name is, if I put retry this, it'll show your name is retry this. Okay, that's good for now. No errors also. So now we're going to create our um, draw variable script. So we'll go to create script. Let's call it draw variable. Now, to draw a variable, what we would do is go draw underscore text. Then we set the coordinates. I use 20, comma 30. And then to select a variable, you type in global.name. So if, go, if there isn't a global.name, it would leave it blank until there is a global.name. So no errors. Now let's create two separate objects. Let's create one separate ob one object. Let's call it global and drawing. So add event, create, draw, no, and not execute script. Tell it to execute the global variable script. Show you. And now I'm going to add a separate draw event. 
because draw variable has to be located in the draw event. So wait, no. So execute script. So to execute the draw variable script. Okay. Put it in the room. Global in drawing. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So we have what is your name? Type your name here. Let's type in game maker language. I don't want to type in retry this. Type in game maker language. Your name is game maker language. Okay. As you can see here, it drew my name at the top. Game maker language. And just to show you this is a fake, if you have any doubts, I'll show you it again. I like fast forwarding this. Because it goes too slow on my computer. Oh, apparently it does it. So what is your name? We try. Let's type in a random name. Don't expect me to memorize that. And it drew my name at the top. Well. This has been an original retry this production. I hope you enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe. And watch out for my next tutorial. So yeah.